One problem often encountered when uh, making power measurements on switching circuits such as this is grounding and ground loops. This is particularly troublesome uh, when more than one piece of test equipment is being used. In this case, uh, we have a function generator and an oscilloscope. <clears throat> uh, the issue involves the reference leads of each piece of equipment, these two guys here. Um, now normally they're tied to the equipment chassis ground, which in turn is tied to the earth ground on your AC plug. What this does is it effectively ties these two reference leads of the test equipment together and um, if these references are used at different uh, points in the circuit uh, being measured, this will not only uh, cause ground loops because it goes through the grid and all the way back <clears throat> through each piece of test equipment. <clears throat> um, but uh, it'll cause erroneous measurements as well and um, this can be catastrophic for your test equipment or your test apparatus too. So um, let's see what we have right now. Um, I'm going to measure the resistance between these two reference leads, this being the function generator, this being the scope. Um, but first let's uh, just check what my meter leads are shorted together. You can see they're shorted together here, and we're indicating about uh, 0 0.5 ohms, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 ohms, shorted together. Okay, so now let's uh, connect between the reference leads here, the function generator, and the scope. Let's see what we have. And you can see 1.7, 1.8, and it's fluctuating a little bit here. Say about 1.8 ohms. So we've got a <clears throat> about a 1.3 ohms loop through the grid wiring. So. We've got 1.8 ohms between these two uh, reference leads. So what this does, it, res it really restricts um, how and where we can safely measure and accurately measure uh, in a circuit. The solution I've chosen here is to isolate the earth ground on my function generator. And this can be done by using a ground lift adapter or simply by pulling the earth prong on your power cord. Okay, so I've done it on the power cord. So let me switch power cords and um, I'll, we'll come back and do another measurement. Okay, so here's the power cord where I've pulled the ground prong out. I'm just going to plug that back into my power bar here. And let's redo our measurement between the reference leads. Okay, so on my 200 ohm scale, it's showing infinity. 2k ohm, it's showing infinity. something on the 20k. Nope. So we're basically looking at an open circuit which is precisely what we want. So <clears throat> now that I've switched to a ground lifted um, power cord on my function generator I can hook the reference lead back up and um, I can safely move my scope probe across any two points in the circuit as long as I keep my references for my scope probes all connected to the same electrical contact point. <clears throat> 